Whenever they have these forums, these town halls, where the candidates get to get asked a question by real people in the audience, I always want to know, what did that real person in the audience think about the answer? Today we can do we that. We can do that. <laughs> Haley. Here with Kenneth Anderson. You might recognize him. Stand up with me. He asked the question that you just saw to Secretary Clinton. Just a reminder, sergeant in the Marine Corps, you did three tours in Iraq. You were an Arabic translator. Uh, so I have to ask you, you are one of our undecided voters. You consider yourself an independent. Did anything that you hear from Secretary Clinton in that answer move the needle for you? Did it help you, you know, come to a decision either way? No, I still think I'm undecided. Um, and in fact, that question uh, that quote from her, that the VA problems aren't as widespread as they're made out to be, was on your short. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. October. And I remember hearing that, and I don't know if she really uh, answered that question for me. Um, if she thinks that the, my, I guess my question is, does she think the problems in the VA have been exaggerated and then it's really not so bad? And I think that's an interesting question because I would say the, the VA here in Manhattan really isn't that bad. It, I, I've had good experiences with mm -hmm. it, but I can't speak for the whole country. And um, I've heard, I've heard bad stories. I've heard good stories. So I didn't quite, quite get that out, out of her answer. You know, she didn't answer it. She didn't answer the question. Well, the, she really didn't. Answer. She answered it the same way to you as she did to me when when she gave that, that in a quote, very very political way. Well, like she's, she didn't she's, answer the question. She's is it, over, off is the it overblown or not? She's bouncing that off the, the prospect question, right? of privatization, right? So she's saying, well, no, no, I, I think I, there are problems. I'm just, just, this is the way she meant, the, right? No, because there are some think that the scandal was made up. They, some that think that the scandal was exaggerated by the press, or it was a manufacturing of some vast conspiracy. You know, the VA problems were real. Yeah. And then it became a chew toy for both parties. Republicans said you did it, and Democrats said, oh, no, it wasn't really our fault, right? And, and veterans were stuck in the middle. That's the real issue, and she, she didn't address it. She hasn't said, are they overblown or not? I, I wonder. Yeah, I would, I would say, I think where it's going, though, is where she went both times when she initially talked about it to me and when she talked about it to you tonight, is that she's saying sort of a twist on what you're saying here, right. which is if the VA is made out to be inherently flawed, if it's functionally wrong, if it was designed yeah. poorly from the beginning and shouldn't exist, it should be a private system yeah. instead. We don't want to let problems in the VA turn around to people who want to get rid of the, turn, turn into an agenda reality, item, people who want to get yeah. rid of the VA. VA That's issues where she's are extremely complicated. Yeah. It's almost as complicated as ISIS sometimes, right? And, and you have to deconstruct the different parts. And the reality is quality of care is consistently good. Access to care has been consistently bad. And there's an You've seen one VA, you've seen one VA. So what you experience right, exactly. in Manhattan yeah. might be dramatically different than Omaha. That's a complicated answer. You need data, you need perspective, and, and that's what we haven't really seen from the candidates. Yeah. Talk about which VA is, is doing well and why, and how you want to replicate that, and which VA was doing poorly, and how you're going to change it. That's the kind of policy specifics we need. Leo Chain, just as an 